Hey guys, it's Andrea. I have a hair stuck to my hand. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff to haul. So this might be like one, like I have all the stuff here and we're just gonna go with it and see how long this video is gonna be. And it might be one of those videos that I, ha I upload usually with hauls. I like collectively like every week, like film what I got and then after a month put it up. But this has been like over a month's, there's hair everywhere, over a month's worth of mail. So let's start with print impression because I have the most stuff from Kane. Some of the stuff I ordered, some of the stuff that he sent, there was like a whole thing with like, it, it was sent to my old address and I thought I wasn't gonna get it. So I just like ordered some of the stuff that I wanted. So I have some duplicates. So I'm actually gonna do like a giveaway. So let's get into all the stuff from print impression first. So I do have a lot of stuff from the new, let me put this over here. The new, I don't know if it was like a pebble or like, what he called it, essential, I don't remember, um, collection, but it's like a pebbled leather. It's really nice. It's probably my favorite like configuration and material that he's ever put out. So I'm really excited about that. It feels really nice and luxe and soft. So I have a bunch of stuff from that. So let me show you that first. So the first thing that I have here um, is the snap closure. I prefer the snap over the elastics. I just think it looks like a little more chic. And I have the pink with the silver. I think there was only like four or five colors in this collection. Um, I think the blue and the pink came with silver and then there might have been a white with silver and then the black and the black and the gray came with gold. So this is a A6 rings. It's so nice. It's so soft and I feel like the quality is like bomb.com. Um, you got like card pockets, little pockets over here, a zip pocket, a back pocket. I don't really love back pockets, but that's okay. And you have double snap pen loop and then I also have the um the without the rings so I think you can actually buy this and then buy rings and you like put them in I think they sells the rings separately um but this is like a cover for the spirals so I do have an a6 spiral here which I love this this debuted this like design um with the like this like bundle that King came out with and I helped him with the collab on that one um with the kit so um this is the a6 that comes in that bundle but i think that you can order the a6 by itself you can order everything i think from the bundle by itself now and i love this format i actually helped kane a little bit with this because i think it's really nice because it's very like open-ended the paper quality is amazing it's nice and thick and soft and it is like a week on four page and i just think this is perfect for stickers and um just kind of planning out what you want to do or if you want to use it as a memory um, keeper situation. So this is the blue color. I also have the blue pen pouch. You could fit tons of pens in here. And I really just love this like material. I think it's really, really nice. Um, and then I also have the pen pouch in the black because I just love black and gold. I also have the Andrea pouch in black, which I still can't believe this is named after me, which is so cute. I feel like nothing's been ever named after me, but um, I love it. It's so cute and it's so me and I cannot wait to use it. And then I also picked up the Paula tote, um, which I think might be named after Kane's mom, I think. Um, and this is super cute. I love it in this material. And I think he's changed a couple of things about it since like the metallic launch. Um, but it comes with an adjustable strap and it fits, I think a 15 inch laptop. I'm gonna test my laptop because I feel like it may fit. I have the set, I think I have a 17 inch, but honestly, I don't remember. I don't ever understand that like laptop sizing because it's like the diagonal width. And I'm like, so you have to like to figure out the sizing. I'm like, I don't know. So then you have the D rings. So very excited about that. I hit the thing. I actually filmed like the beginning of this before, but then my in-laws came over and I actually hit the camera whenever I moved that bag before too. So it's just not meant for this table. Um, so that's some of the stuff. So let me continue on. I do have some covers for the A6 spiral that he sent. He sent over um, all of the new collab ones that I don't have. So this is the Magical 50th collab one. You can get this in any of the sizes of the spirals that he offers. Um, so you have the castle in the front and then you have Mickey and Minnie on the back and on the inside you just have a really pretty like um, celestial sky which I think is so nice. All of the artwork on all of these is by Kitten and Struggle Girl Jess, and these are removable covers. Like I said, if you have any of his files, you can order a cover, 
and have like a new fun cover. So then this one here is the seven year and I thought the luxe on the outside would be cool with the scenes on the inside, but you could totally do like scene on the outside and then luxe on the inside. Um, but I thought this one was really cute because it's just like pink and like fun. And then there's also this one, which I think also, I feel like any of these you could totally use inside out. And like, let's say you wanted to do this one inside out. I feel like if you had a really cool, like hollow initial on here, like a sparkly hollow initial, that'd be really nice. Um, and you kind of get two covers out of it that way. And then you could use that on the inside, but this is the park hopper one, which I think has been in the shop for a little bit. Um, but it just has two flat lays and then a really pretty terrazzo. Again, how cute would this look with like, you could do like a little Mickey head, like if you have like a little foiled sticker or like an initial, and then this be on the inside, you get kind of like bang for your buck. I always want to try and make the inside super cute as well uh, when I send those files over. And then he also sent over the A6 dividers and then two A6 dashboards. He also sent over some stuff that I'm so excited about because we have some epic collabs coming that I'm just pumped for. And then he also sent me over A6 inserts. I think that these are all the, um, the like dailies. I'm personally, oopsies. I'm personally not a daily person. Kane knows this. Um, but I think this is a cool setup if you are into dailies. So basically you have your, so you have your, you like highlight your day, your month, and then your date. And then there's the first task, second task, third task, and then notes. And then you have um, seven o'clock to nine o'clock. So that is like the little daily situation. And then I think he also sent over, I think those are the mixed media in the A6. I actually just bought a bunch of paint today. I don't know, I don't know how long it would take it to dry for me to put it in a thing, but that'd be kind of cute. I made a little A6 art thing. Might actually do that because I want to like mess around with the paints. They could do a little swatch thing, that'd be cute. Yeah, these are the mixed media. So these are on like a thicker paper. Thicker and they probably have some kind of like abilities that I don't know about, like maybe better for watercolor or something. Then I also have, oh, hold on. I also have this situation here before I get into the bundle that I got. Um, the A5, I've been obsessed with A5 for my just like day-to-day -day tasks, mostly work-related and keeping track of all of that stuff. Um, I've been using my Louis, but I just wanna have like options. Um, but this is like very similar in like configuration to the A6, it's just the A5. I think Kane has this collection for pocket up to A5, and I thought this would be a really nice one to be able to have something to switch out of because I don't think I have any A5 black planners. I actually don't have a lot of A5. I have a lot of A5 wide, A6, and pocket planners. So I wanted to get a couple of those, so I figured I'd get the black one from this collection. And then I also got the A5 inserts. I think I actually have some of these um, in my mess of planner stuff, but figured while I was making my order. Um, so it's just like the standard A5, like this is just kind of what A5 looks like for most like sticker planning weekly two page situations. So I have a bunch of those. And then I also picked up the bundle. I don't remember, I think this was just like a painting bundle. I don't think that there was like a anniversary or anything tied to it. Um, so I have the washies here, which are super cute. Um, they are hollow and then there's solid colors, which I love. And then there's also a rainbow one, which I also love. And I love the sticker on the top is a piece of clip art from the um, art. And then it also came with these um, stickers for the tabs for the A6 along with the like solid ones. I personally like just putting these on the clear tabs. I think that looks super chic, but if you wanted to kind of do a neutral or a pastel look. You have options in that bundle. And then there's also sticky notes, which are super cute. It looks like an open um, planner like that one, but in pink. Also, there was a pen, which this is just so cane, the yellow with the rainbow. 
And then last but not least, there's also a SPC mini kit, which like I said, I think you can buy all of these in bundle form so you do save, but there's also the option if you wanna purchase any of these individuals. So if you wanna go buy like the mini kit you can from Kane. And this is really like a, just like a painting set. Maybe I can use this like in my A6 for this week since I'm gonna do some painting. Um, but it has a really nice like kind of like rainbowy looking palette. And then you have a rainbow faux glitter throughout, which is super pretty. I love the patterns. They're just really like rainbow and gorgeous. And then you have the paint splatters on the bottom. And then the freebie in the mini kit is the extra skin tone. This won't ever come to our shop. So if you wanna pick it up, do so from Kane. Um, and then there was also some freebies in the order, which was the sticker sheet, which I think he has a lot of like dollar sticker sheets. I think there's like foiled ones too. So definitely check that out. And then there's also like a bunch of cards in the order. So there's one from Jesenia and then these are the SPC cards, which are so cute. And then there's also the print impression card, which this is adorable. This is actually kind of a little preview of something that's going to be coming. What was that noise? Oh, I think it was just one of the things. I thought that was like a bug. I got nervous. Um, but, um, now I'm like sidetracked, but it was definitely just like the thing hitting. Um, this is like a sneak basically. And these are really nice cards. I'm getting so cute. Art by Jess, it's adorable. Um, but that's a sneak for something that's actually coming out in a couple of months, which is really cool. I'm really excited about that. So that is everything. Oh, no, no, no. So I'm actually going to do a giveaway, um, in this video and I have a full another bundle. So there's the washi, the pen, the sticky notes, the foiled. This one has like, I think you just got like random ones. So I'll just switch or no, yeah. Well, I actually have a lot of these. So I'll just give you all of them. So you'll get like a black one, a hollow one, a silver one. And then this one's like a silver script one. So you get all of them. Cause I have a bunch of those. And then the mini kit, the um, labeler dudes, and then you get the A6 with a cover. This is the white, and this is in the like squared corners. I think that's like the one that you got if you ordered the bundle. So just leave a comment down below with your favorite non-planning related hobby. So like I'm trying to get it into painting right now. What is your favorite non-sticker related hobby? If you don't have a hobby besides planning, which is basically me. I'm not gonna put it like that though, because I don't want it to like stretch and no mark there. So I'll just leave that over there. Um, if you don't have any other hobbies, just just leave a comment down below. We'll sort through it and I'll pick a winner soon. I have a lot of more stuff to show you guys. So, um, ooh, let's see. I have wax and more stickers. So I think I'll do the wax last because I'm like a little overwhelmed. Actually, there's a lot of wax. I don't know if this is gonna be a whole haul. I feel like I talk too fast for this to be a whole haul. So I have, I thought I had more than this. Eh, whatever. So I have some stuff from No White Space stickers, some stuff from Press Press. Actually, I don't think that Nick's checked the mail in the while. Um, so I think that's why. I think something said delivered, but we just don't have them yet. Press Press. And then this is from Oso Paper, my subscription. And then I also have a Sonia Stegeman. I always think I'm gonna say that wrong. I might still be saying it wrong. Um, order as well, the, the subscription, which I think I actually upped my subscription. So I don't, I think that I might start in the next one. I also have like half of a pumpkin loaf from Starbucks, which is like my favorite thing in the whole, it's like my favorite like sweet treat. Currently, I'm not like a huge like sweets person, but that right now has been my jam. Um, so let's go into Crest Press first. So I did pick up this mystery kit. So Maggie does bring her mystery kits to shop. I think like the leftovers, um, the foil and the kits. And I just got the kit plus the fashion add-on. And this is art by Kittenish Girl Jess, which y'all know I can't pass up. So this is like a Tokyo set. It is super, super cute and just fun. Very like Harajuku fun colors, cutesy. I love everything about it. I don't know when I'll use it, but I know that it's just super cute art. So I wanted to grab it. I love the little Tamagotchi 
and like the little planner and everything's just so cute, the little sushi. So this is, I don't get the like biggest one because it has ombre heart checklist in it. I get like the medium one. I don't know like what, if there's like a name on it. I think it's like maybe Essentials or something. Or maybe the Essentials is bigger. I don't remember. But this is like the, those are cute, like the little albums in the background. Um, so I get the one like below, the biggest, the next one down. And then I also got the Fashion Girls because whenever I told Jess I was buying this, she's like the Fashion Girls are the best part. So I had to pick those up. And then there's like just some extras on the side. I love the like back here with the, um, like the fun hair. And then I also picked up, I think you could pick between the two strips, but I was like, I honestly don't know right now. So I just picked up both of them and just figured YOLO. And then I also picked up a bunch of the birthday foil bundles. I actually might put one with TT's birthday, um, kit because I might use like a box or two from it but I don't have a lot of birthday boxes like from anyone even myself so I was like when Maggie came out with this I was like perfect I'll just buy a bunch and then I don't have to worry about it so she had them in gold silver rose hollow and sparkly hollow and I think I ordered three of each so I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you in silver because silver is the easiest to see um, but they're all the same and I get the mini because obviously I have bougie faux days. So I'm just trying not to mix anything up. So I just ordered the silver, um, the, not silver, the mini, because she has them, the mini, um, the mini or the full. So the mini is three sheets and then the full has the bougie boxes. So you get, um, the full boxes here, there's eight of them. So you get a double box and then like two stroke kind of ones and then just like four corner confetti and two corner confetti. And then this one here is the like um, scripts, icons, whole reinforcers and date numbers. And then the bottom one is the fancy headers, deco bits, bottom washi and glitter headers. So you get everything that you need. Um, and you can order the bougie one if you wanna do, or it's like full or whatever, um, if you wanna get bougie boxes to match. Um, but it's nice that the, since these are like core that you can just order it without. Then let's go in to Oso Paper, which I don't remember what month this was, but we getting it. So I feel like they've been really switching up like what they put in here. Oh, this is cute very fancy okay so you get a pen which is adorable so it says oso paper on the barrel i don't know if you can see that and then you have just really pretty little crystals in there that match like the colors of the aesthetic of the subscription and this is just a little cute folder get out of your own way it's cute and then i like this kind of like almost looks kind of like 90s 80s vibes so you do have a, oh, it's a gift card. Oh, you could win a gift card. Let's see if I want a gift card. Here's what you do. Take a selfie with your pink envelope, upload your picture to Facebook. You own it. Oh, okay, it'll be automatically. Oh, that's a passcode. Okay, I see what's going on. Okay, so you like take a picture with this and then you have like a passcode and you could win, so. There's that, and then there is a sticker book. I feel like this is bigger than normal. I feel like it normally is like a square. So you have all of the different super, super cutie little characters, super fashionable, looking adorable, some full boxes. These are so cute. This is like a, like a vinyl paper, kind of like a vinyl matte paper. I feel like they used to have like matte matte paper and now it's like a vinyl-y matte. It's not like too vinyl-y though, but it definitely smells like vinyl. They have some washi arrows. This one's on clear paper. Super cute. This one on the bottom, little friends one. Sidebar, some like appointment labels. And then that is the little sticker book back in here and then down here you have kind of like these are like 
kind of the normal stuff that's in here. So you have this really cute little card. The Beverly Hills, that's so cute. And then I Dream of Summers That Last Forever. This would be really cute to actually put on like my monthlies. There is a little magnet, which these always fit so perfectly on my little like Rascog cart. And then the little sticker of the month, which I think if you order during the month, you get like one of these if it's during that month. Does that make sense? So you get this in like your order. Something similar would be like a sticker of this size. So super cute as per always. And then I'll open up my Sonia, Sonia Stegeman. Well, let's add a trip that. Um, subscription. Jess got me into this. Oh, it's bears. I love bears because it reminds me of Theo. Okay, let me put this over here. Actually, I have all my stuff in a little pile over here from her. I love bears. Ugh. Let me open. I don't think I have my scissors in here. No. Can I be strategic? I don't know. I feel like I'm not skilled enough. I don't want to rip that washi. I'm going to save it. I don't want to also scratch the thing underneath, though. This is real surgery. Let me just... Okay. <gasps> so cute! Okay. Okay, so in here, have this super cute coffee girl with the Burberry-esque coat on has kind of a metallic sheen to it. And then there's a little sample of that little washi tape. I wish I had the bigger one for this month because it's so cute. A little piece of the notepad, a little sticker sheet, coffee and teddy bear themed. And this is so cute. It looks like an Instagram picture, but it's on a postcard. I love it so much. So cute. Love it, love it, love it. And I love that little, like, it's like a little subscription. It's nothing crazy, just like a little subscription. It's perfect. And then, um, which I think she has different tiers, and that's through Patreon, so you can get, like, that. I think there's even, like, smaller tiers where you just get, like, a postcard and a sticker maybe, and then there's bigger ones, which I think I upped to the larger one for future orders. Next, I have orders from No White Space Stickers, which I think this was like PDC sale weekend or something. And I think she does like a different thing every day along with having like new stuff. Um, along with having new stuff like in the shop for that weekend on sale. So I think I ordered like almost all the days, if not all of them. So first things first is there's the little card. And then I think that this was a freebie. So it might have been like with X orders or maybe if I ordered that day or something, but it's just like a gold hollow shapes, like castles, stars, hearts, and Mickey heads. And then this is just another freebie that says add to cart. Then I ordered the Animal Kingdom um, like dashboard thing. I have a bunch of these. I don't know what to do with them yet, but I'm going to find something cute to do with them because I think they're adorable. Um, I'm going to so much, though. Y'all don't even know. And then I ordered, I think, one of almost every, if not every, one of the vinyls because I have an actual vinyl problem. Like, I probably have over a thousand vinyls. For what reason? I don't know. Vinyls are my strange addiction. So, let me show you guys these real fast so you have the people mover which is just like the best and then you have this super cute like pastel rainbow mickey head and then you have a little like pirate ship turner thing the enchanted tiki room sign pirates of the caribbean i think she did a lot of like rides and land type situations adventure land the little royal carousel horse and then the Peter Pan ship, Fantasyland flag. I ordered two of the Haunted Mansions because, you know. Um, then you have the boat, Winnie the Pooh Fast Pass, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. And then you, is this from like Liberty Bell, Liberty Square, the Little Bears, Galactic Hero. And then these were like trio packs, so... Those, People Mover Car, Country Bear Jamboree, all kinds of stuff. That's all like park kind of ride. And um, 
I feel like she did like all of the Magic Kingdom rides. Tomorrowland, this is so cute. Um, so I'm hoping she does like all of them for like all the parks over time. Cause I think that'd be really cute. I probably won't ever use them because I have that like FOMO of, this is so cute too. FOMO of like putting a sticker down and like never being able to use it again. I used to order from her like multiples of every sticker, but it just, it just gets me too much. Then I also ordered this fast pass thing so she does these like mini bundles i think she's done a winnie the pooh one a peter pan one and a haunted mansion one so far so i ordered the small world one because i thought it was really cute and i do really love small world i feel like it's you either love small world or you hate it and i think it's a really nice ride because it usually doesn't have a really long wait and you get to sit for a long time and it's like in air conditioning. So this is just like a little washi card that looks like a fast pass. And then there was three little stickers in here, which are super cute. I like this one, like with the goodbyes on it. You had a little charm. I never really use these, but they are really cute. And then there is also a small world washi tape, which I do have a lot of no white space stickers washi tape now, but I just love Disney stuff. I'm really a sucker for Disney. Then I'm probably not, I mean, I feel like showing washi in the roll is never very fun. This one I'm definitely not gonna open right now, but this is the monorail. And they're all kind of like deeper colors. And then also a hollow, I think. So I picked up this because I do have a lot of the monorail ones. I think the monorail ones are really cute. I really like the monorail. And then I, so I think that was like an event a different day. And then this was another event, which was like, buy all the washi so obviously i was there um so there is this one which is really cute which see i don't know like do you guys care to see the washi like this so hard to see so you have the sleeping little babies like those little plushies that are super cute and then this one says happiest place on earth in like the magical text and then you have the little rainbow with the mickey ears and then this one is teacups honey pots so you kind of have different Stuff, popcorn buckets, the little small world face, Tinkerbell's little silhouette, a churro. Um, I think that's about everything on there. And then there's, oops, there's also the Skyliner, just different Skyliner cars, I guess they're called. I'm sure they have some kind of actual name, like Sky Cars or something, I don't know. And then you have the like Fast Pass Magic Band button type thing. And then this one, I think she's had before in like a pink and then also like an inverted hollow pink, um, like hollow with pink, like as the design. And this is just like a constellation Mickey situation. And then this one is really cute because it's like the, um, like the Epcot, is it the ball? Is it Spaceship Earth? I don't even know. Super cute. And then there's also the fireworks with the Mickey head in a, black with a rainbow foil and then there's also the people mover which has the little people mover cars and then the people mover logo which is adorable and then last but not least there is just a um like a starburst star and mickey head and in oh, like a rainbow foil which is super cute this one's really i feel like the most usable ones are the simplest ones because I feel like this, like you could totally use in like any setup and it would look adorable. So, okay. So I thought my haul was done, but it's not done yet. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be a long one. So if you all aren't interested in wax, that's the end of the haul for you. So thank you guys for watching and I love you. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. Oh my God, sorry. In regards to the, um, what's it called? in regards to the giveaway but that's everything for like planner related things now i'm gonna go into wax it's so funny because i was literally like this is gonna be a 28 minute haul and i'm sorry but like but no we're gonna we're gonna go okay so i have one bundle from fantasy wax here i feel like i got another one but i might have put it away um this is the jaws bundle which i'm sure possibly they might have a la carte in the shop. They also just released the Ariel bundle, which I haven't smelled those yet. They're probably on my desk at work, um, but I'm sure they smell good. So that bundle might be up still. I don't know. So this is the little freebie. I thought it'd be cute to like copy the, like she sent me over the listing pictures and then I paste them into the little doodle, 
which I thought was adorable. I think that turned out really cute. I might do that more often for the freebies. Um, and then Carson gave me all the scents, which was so good. So I actually don't like one of these and I'm kind of, kind of don't want to smell it. Um, I don't know which one it is though. Based on, I think it's this one. So one of them kind of smells like alcohol and like alcohol just does not the smell of alcohol I don't like it there was one I think it was from the pink barn house and it smelled like a straight alcohol and I like literally it was like a pina colada or something this one is my favorite though this one's called shark if you're gonna get any of them get this one this one is Sol seats Sol seats the salty sea spray crisp ozone water lily water lily Mm, it smells so good. It smells like an expensive beach house. And I want to be there. And then this one is called Amity Island, which is caramel popcorn, warm apples, and creamy taffy. This one just smells like, um, I kind of, what is that? I think it's the apples and the taffy that I'm smelling a lot of with like a hint of caramel. I like the little, um, what are they called? Beach balls. Those are super cute. And this one's called Close the Beach. Creamy cocoa butter and tropical fruits. I don't know if this one's the one. Yeah, this one. No, I don't. This one just smells like pineapple to me. Pineapple. So maybe none of these. Maybe I was just like thinking that one of them smelled like alcohol. No, this one just smells like pineapple. I feel like Nick would really like this one. It's kind of actually like a lighter pineapple scent because I feel like pineapples can go like really strong and artificial really fast but that one's not too bad is this one it this one's called bigger boat which is sweet pineapple and coconut this might be it yeah this one i don't this one is not my favorite but if you love fruity stuff you should definitely pick up these two i'm more of a like soft or a warm scent person but if you're a fruity scent person that should be your jam so now i have two orders from two different wax shops i haven't bought from any i haven't bought from many other wax shops recently mostly because like person makes wax and it's easily accessible to me um and also i have a lot of it so i get overwhelmed when i have a lot of one thing i don't know what this is from sugar wood shop salted caramel is this candy? I don't know. It was hot when I got these, so it's a little bit melty. So I have an order in from L3 Waxy Wonders, and I actually ordered this from watching one of Hannah's videos, Planner Hannah. She does like a lot, obviously planner stuff, but wax hauls, empties, melting baskets, and I feel like the, one of the shops that she raised out most is this company, and then it was funny because I feel like three days after i ordered this kirsten's like hey i know you haven't ordered wax in a while but if you want to order from somebody order from l3 waxy wonders and i was like yo i just ordered so i kind of didn't use my brain too much and i got four of these giant like hold on hold on these ginormo like look like look at this compare it to a water bottle she's thick I mean, I think it was like $14, but like, I just think I wasn't thinking the whole way through. Plus, I feel like this might be one of those shops that they have a couple of things, like a few things in stock, but you have to like look for their like pop-ups and restocks. I just, I don't have like, I just forget and then it never happens. So I bought this on like, a random day and this is kind of like what they had but i mean it's still a lot of cool stuff so this one is one of the the big daddies and this is a cucumber mountain dew strawberry sugar it smells really good though like it smells like a body wash i've had like whenever i was younger but it smells so good it definitely smells like mountain dew but i also get the cucumber i don't know if i get too much of the strawberry sugar Maybe it's just like a sweet. I don't really get strawberry though, but it's good. And then this one's called Bum Bum Fresh Picked Strawberries, Strawberry Sugar. A lot of these are like, I think, blends of like many different um, oils. So this one, it's so hard. It's so hard to smell. This one's really good too though. So it does have Bum Bum Fresh Picked Strawberry, Strawberry Sugars. 
it smells like really warm. It kind of smells like a lotion, but all I don't see this one. I also don't get strawberries out of. Yeah, I mostly just get like a, a warm lotion with like a little bit of a fruitiness to it, but so good. I guess I like the thing is, is I'm not like a huge strawberry scented person, so I'm kind of happy that those don't have like heavy strawberry scents. This one's called Gold Sugar Coconut Coast Sugared Shortbread. This one smells real bomb though. This one smells like. Mm, I feel like I smell the coconut and a little bit of the shortbread, but I don't, I'm not getting like too much sugar. And then this one is caramel fudge cake zucchini bread sugar cookie royale, like a mouthful, y'all. And this one I don't really like. This one is probably my least favorite out of all the big daddies because I feel like the fudge scent, which is just like, I, does anybody actually like the artificial fudge scent? Like. It doesn't smell like anything besides fudge. There might be a little bit of the caramel in there, but it mostly smells like fudge, and that's just not my favorite. So I'm gonna see if Kirsten wants that one. Then I just get a couple of smaller things. I don't know if this is a candy or what, but it's called Sugarwood. It says salted caramels, brown sugar, sweetened condensed milk. I mean, I guess. I'm kind of worried because it came with this, and I'm like, what if it's just like a cute way of like showing like a scoopable wax? But I'm like, should I try it on camera? and see if I'm eating wax? I don't know. Let me smell it. I mean, it looks edible. Hmm. Yeah, pretty sure it's edible. It's very sweet, very sweet. Oh, that's like hecka sweet. Anyway, and then I got this one in like a, a mini loaf pan. It's pretty good though, pretty good. Very sweet though. Um, this is Fruit Loop Zucchini Bread, which like sounds bomb. I think zucchini bread smells so good. I think I like zucchini bread too. Like I was saying, I like pumpkin bread a lot as well. I feel like they're like sisters. Oh my God, this one's so good. It mostly smells like Fruit Loops. I'm going to be honest with you. I only smell Fruit Loops, but like I'm not mad about it because I love the smell of Fruit Loops. I don't really like the eating Fruit Loops though because I bought some recently. I got like one of those variety packs and I didn't like the Fruit Loops. I I just feel like they go from like super hard and edible to like super mushy really fast. And there's no like perfect timing in the middle to eat them where they're not gross. That's my take on Fruit Loops, but they smell really good. Then I got cocoa butter. Oh, this is like, these are, well, I think these are freebies. I ordered this one. Pink sugar, cocoa butter, cashmere cotton candy frosting. This one, I think it's called a puppy pack, which I just thought that was the funniest name. This one smells good. Again, it's not my favorite. I feel like it smells a lot like, maybe it's the cotton candy and frosting. Maybe, I think it's the frosting. But they're super cute because they have like all different little shapes in them. But I'll definitely still use it. I don't think I would not use any of these besides the fudge one because it just literally smells like fudge. Let me smell it again. Yeah, there's no way I'm using this. So I'm gonna give it to Carson and see if she wants it. I'll put it in my, my laptop bag. And then I did get some little freebs here. So this is Twilight type pink berry tonka bean. And I thought this might smell like Twilight, like Twilight bath bomb or something. This one is good. I probably wouldn't buy it. It has like a really, the, the berry tonka bee, bean is like really, really potent. And then there's the cocoa butter, cashmere, gold sugar, boardwalk, mallow clouds. This one smells really good. This one smells like a perfume or something that I had when I was younger as well. So I really like that one. And then there is blue agava, cacao, garnier fructis. This one's bomb. This one does smell, it smells a lot like garnier fructis, which I do love the smell of it. It's just, it's, it's one of those smells that I feel like I used Garnier Fruities a lot when I was growing up, and I think actually my dad might have too. It smells so good. Um, I don't know, it's just like a good, fresh, a little fruity maybe scent. And then last but not least, I wanted, I don't know, I was just in a wax buying mood, and I'm, I'm probably good for a while. So I ordered from Columbia Candle Supply, and I've ordered from them before, and I feel like their stuff's really nice. They have a lot of different scents. I think they come out with scents seasonally as well. 
So I did get some of their Lush dupe ones. I actually was looking for a zucchini bread. Um, and then I got some of their Lush ones and then I got a couple of other ones. So I wanted to find a zucchini bread that I like that was readily available. This one smells so good. It smells like zucchini bread. I love it. I think there's different sizes, but I just got this one, the smallest one, to try it. And then I did get Relax, which is comforter type. So it's supposed to smell like comforter from Lush. Which I think this is like close to comforter. I'm thinking that maybe once you melt it, it'll like warm up a little bit because I kind of feel like this smells like comforter before you put it in the bathtub. And I feel like when you put it in the bathtub, the scent changes a little bit. Um, but I do love comforter. Comforters, one of my favorite Lush scents. My favorite Lush scents are comforter, olive branch, Twilight. I do like honey. I is it honey I wash the kids, but I don't like any of the ways that it comes. I think they did release it in a body wash though. I don't I think for a while it was only in like a hard soap. But those other ones are my favorite. There was another one. Oh, Phoenix Rising was one of my favorites, but they discontinued that. And also Fizzbanger. Fizzbanger was so good, but they also discontinued that, which all made me sad. So this one here is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie. This one smells really good. I was kind of worried about this one because I didn't want it to smell too fruity, but it just smells like a butter cookie with like a light berry scent, which I'm really, really happy about. I also got Captain Crunch because obviously you can't have enough cereal scents. Hmm. I feel like this one is pretty good. It's definitely different than most of the cereal scents that I've smelled, but it does smell like Captain Crunch. And then this one's Ice Lemon Danish. And I like how those are all different kinds of shapes. This one smells so good, guys. It's lemony. It has that like light baked good scent, but the lemon is like all powerful, which is perfect. Um, but it's like the warm lemon. And then this one is Cinnamon French Toast and Rice Krispy Treats, which also sounded bomb. And it is. It is bomb. It is. I don't even know. Did I smell these when these came in? Because this smells real good. This one is like real, real good. It's like heavy on like a cinnamon, but also sweet. Oh, I'd say so far that these are my top three from, from them. And then um, Marshmallow Fluff. my nose there. I feel like I'm just sniffing all the wax melts here. This one smells good. It's light. So I wonder like what it would smell like when it's in the warmer, but it's really pretty. It's like a light, light marshmallow smell. So I do like that one. I like, I mean, I like them all. The only one I didn't like out of all the ones that I have out of all the wax I showed you was the fudge one, but that's just because I should have known better. I thought for some reason, maybe it'd be like a hint, but it's mostly fudge. Um, but everything else I really like. Um, so yeah, and I think that out of all the ones from Columbia Candle Supply, I really like the Ice Lemon Danish, the Cinnamon French Toast and Rice Krispie Treats, and then the Zucchini Bread. And then probably my favorite from L3 Waxy Wonders is the Fruit Loop um, Zucchini Bread. And then, I don't know, I kind of, this one or that one or the Mountain Dew one. And then, like I said, from these ones, I think they might have them a la carte now. I feel like definitely get this one, but if you are in, super into fruity scents, get Amity Eye, not Amity, get these ones, get these two. The red and the gray. So close the beach, bigger boat. This one's really good. This one's warmer. This one I think everyone will like. It's really, really nice. It's just like a anytime, everyone, really, really good scent. So that's all the wax. Um, that's the end of the haul. I hope that you guys liked it. You got a little sticker, a little wax, washi tape, stickers, planners, all the things. Don't forget to leave a comment down below to be entered into the giveaway. And I will pick a winner in like a week or something like that. I think I have two other giveaways to pick a winner for. So whenever I'm editing this, it'll remind me to pick a winner for those. So I hope you guys like this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.